You've heard about it somewhere, but are really not sure. You may have read about it on the web. Your boss may have mentioned it, but you can't remember. You also may have a gut feeling that XBRL may be something very important, but you just don't know why. So what is XBRL, and why is it so important to me? Welcome to XBRL in plain English. XBRL was first envisioned in 1998 by a very intelligent accountant looking for a better way to create, share, and distribute financial information. XBRL, Extensible Business Reporting Language, is an XML-based open standard business reporting language. Think of XBRL as a language used to code and bring meaning and context to financial information. Easy, isn't it? Information in a non-XBRL world is a terrible thing. Information today is monolithic, meaning you really can't do anything with it. Word, PDF, HTML, plain text, and Excel documents represent only a block of information. It's extremely difficult to compare information with no internal structure. XBRL is being developed by a non-profit consortium backed by organizations, major companies, and various government agencies throughout the world. In the U.S., the drivers behind XBRL are the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Mr. Christopher Cox, and the SEC itself. Filers and publicly traded companies will also be affected greatly by the upcoming XBRL SEC mandate. The SEC has decided to implement the use of XBRL over the next few years. Documents are currently filed in static HTML and or ASCII. Information remains inaccessible and monolithic in every way. Welcome to a world of filing on steroids. The XBRL world of filing will dramatically change the way information is filed with the SEC. The availability of financial information is now accessible to the masses. No longer will companies be able to obfuscate financial information that allowed companies like MCI WorldCom and Enron to fly under the radar. In the future, monolithic documents filed with the SEC will be replaced by fully transparent and comparable XBRL-based financial data. Companies will no longer be able to hide behind walls of static information or even clever footnotes disclaiming the meaning of the financial data investors and other stakeholders rely upon. In a world without XBRL, the creation and sharing of financial information is an extremely difficult task. If, for example, one accountant wanted to send another accountant some financial information, that should be a piece of cake, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, accountants using two different software platforms are faced with the dreaded re-keying of data. Accountants must restructure and map financial information so it will fit into their software system. Not a very streamlined process, to say the least. In a world of XBRL, the sharing of information from one accountant to another would be seamless, and the good news is there would be no need to re-key financial information. Accountants will be happy again. XBRL-enabled software systems can read XBRL data because XBRL allows accountants to define each number behind the scenes so that all software can interpret it in the same way. How this all works is the financial information being shared has been tagged with specific definitions, aka metadata. All the numerical values within this spreadsheet have been defined so that machines will be able to interpret and define the information in the same way. Think of each number within the financials as having a tiny barcode behind the scenes, giving the financial information context and meaning. All numerical values are tagged with XBRL, giving each number context relating to a specific accounting taxonomy. A taxonomy is simply a list of definitions or metadata that define something. The good news is XBRL enables dynamic comparisons and brings documents to life. Another group of people whose lives will be made easier are analysts. In a world without XBRL, it takes an extremely long time to do an in-depth financial comparison of two companies. In a non-XBRL world, analysts have to go through every number, paragraph, and page to get an understanding of how these companies relate to one another. In an XBRL world, the analysis of financial information will change drastically. XBRL will enable near real-time financial analysis. Analysts will no longer have to spend hours sifting through large amounts of financial data to get the big picture. Not only will you be able to compare companies within local markets, you will have the power to compare interest sector companies across jurisdictions. Previously, it would be very difficult to make sense of the performance of a company in China versus one in Japan, which is a realistic need in global markets. With XBRL-enabled software tools, analysts and investors will now be able to compare companies with the click of a button. Life is good.
The good news is XBRL is a good thing that should provide reduced cost for managing the flow of financial information, improved access to financial information, increased productivity due to more time being focused on the production of quality information instead of the manipulation and rekeying of content, improved data quality and validity of information, fluidity of sharing financial data across any software application, data interoperability problems will be a long distant memory. XBRL is a technology you have to be aware of, as it is not a passing fad. Companies with a market value of over $2 trillion are currently reporting to the SEC using XBRL in the SEC's voluntary filing program. Wow, that is a lot, isn't it? There are also many examples of companies and organizations in various stages of XBRL adoption. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, Bank of Japan, the Tokyo Stock Exchange, Shanghai Stock Exchange, German Stock Exchange, Danish Commerce and Companies Agency, Dutch Water Boards, UK Inland Revenue, Tax Authority of Japan. Make a small investment to get into the game. Obtaining XBRL knowledge and the essential software to manage the influx of XBRL requirements is critical in this era of change. Individuals, organizations, and companies in the XBRL realm who choose to ignore the new requirements will be unprepared for the mandate of XBRL technology. If you're in need of a more in-depth answer to any of your questions regarding XBRL, please contact us for more information. Thank you for watching XBRL in plain English.